<laughs> yeah, you stick around here, you'll smell like a tree. With fresh snow and nearly all senses firing. God, I had no idea it was going to snow, but it's a pleasant surprise. It does make things Owners of Krieger's Christmas Tree Farm in Lake Elmo have cultivated an immersive experience. One owner, John Krieger, says is unique. Very few stores that you go to, one have this, this feel, this atmosphere, but rarely do you get to buy from the owner of the business, right, or even their extended family. This fourth generation 45 acre farm is family owned and operated and celebrating its 67th year. Well, sweet, we appreciate the business. It's why customers return. The fact that it's family owned and um, wanting to support a small business. Krieger says 2020 was a big year overall for Christmas tree farms and they're seeing that trend continue as more people move to real trees for the experience. Yeah, this is our third or fourth year. And the environment. While of course when you buy one artificial, it can last many years. Um, with a real tree, we're growing new ones every year. It helps create habitat for animals and insects and um, soil erosion, all these things. Though the tree shortage is more on a national scale, Krieger says they do have fewer Fraser firs, Morning. but more balsam firs and Joel, will stay tall. open until Christmas Eve. Last year they began an online reservation system due to COVID, but it worked so well they're continuing this year and next. Goss Johnson. You guys been here before too? Every yeah, year. I think that's what I heard. Mm -hmm. awesome. It helps with staffing, parking, and provides a more relaxed atmosphere for customers with fewer crowds and fewer lines. <laughs> Charlie Brown. And more time <laughs> to take it all in. Woo! <laughs>